Hi, welcome to Starbucks. When it comes to Starbucks drinks, the calories vary greatly. The lowest calorie drinks include unsweetened coffee and tea. However, if you do want some sweetness in your drink, but you don't want to overconsume your calories, you can ask for less syrup or fewer pumps. Or even better, you can order your drink skinny, which means it's made with non-fat milk, sugar-free syrup, and no whipped cream. But guys, if you're not willing to even give that up, you can just order a smaller size. For example, a drink that's 520 calories in a venti can easily turn into 190 calories if you order the mini. Not only are you saving calories, you can save some money as well. But hey, you didn't hear that from me. Oh, wait, my manager's coming. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my top seven drinks, one from each category that we offer. So you guys ready? Yeah. Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome to the video. It is I, your boy, Louis Hoffer Show. And this is Bring the Shreds, where we talk about how to get in shape without sacrificing the food you love. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and let's start the video. All right, guys, so this is gonna be a two-part series. So first, we're gonna do the drinks, and in another video, we're gonna do Starbucks' food. So I broke it down to different category of drinks. So I have the hot coffee, I have the hot teas, the hot drinks, the frappuccino blended beverages, cold coffees, iced teas, and cold drinks. So I picked one drink from each category, which one I felt was the quote unquote healthiest, the macro friendliest. That also gave you like protein as well because there are some teas out there that are zero calories, which I recommend if you just want something to drink without the calories. Like I said, I don't drink my calories, so that's something I prefer. But for this video's sake, I can pick up a bunch of zero calorie teas, but that's not what we're doing here. So how I'm gonna rate this is obviously the taste. How macro friendly is it? Yeah, that's it. So let's get started. All right, so for number one, so for the hot coffees, I went with the cappuccinos. Uh, it's 140 calories, five grams of fat, 14 grams of carbs, nine protein, and 12 grams of sugar. So I'm not gonna drink all of it because this is a lot of caffeine, but I just wanna give it a taste test to see which ones I like the best personally. I'm not a Starbucks drinker. I rarely go to Starbucks, so first time you, first time me. Maybe I'll fall in love with something and I'll continue buying it, who knows. All right, so here it goes, cappuccino. Pretty foamy, I don't know if you can tell. So all these, the calories is based off the grande, the middle one, but the ones I bought are the small cups just because this is, like I said, a lot of caffeine and a lot of money out of my pocket. So I got the small, but the calories are for the grande just because I feel that's like a typical size somebody would buy. Okay, anyways, cappuccino hot coffee, let's try it. Uh, tastes pretty bitter. Again, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I mean, it's all right. I think it needs more sugar, to be honest. It already has 12 grams in it. Honestly, if I was gonna drink something with sugar, that's kind of like my limit. Like I said, 140 calories, but it is nine grams of protein, 12 grams of sugar, so uh, also five grams of fat. So I'll give this, uh, taste-wise, mm, not that great. I'll probably give this a 2.5 out of five. All right, so for our next category, it's hot tea. And for that, I got the Royal English Breakfast Tea Latte. Mm -hmm -hmm. So it does have Milk in it, I guess that's what latte is, right guys? I don't wanna spill it, but uh, just trust me on this. Mm, okay, that's not bad at all. Actually, that's pretty good. So this tea, the grande size, is 150 calories. Again, five grams of fat, same as the cappuccino. 21 carbs, seven grams of protein, but it does have 21 grams of sugar. And maybe that's why it tastes a lot better than uh, the cappuccino that has less sugar because this one has a lot more sugar. But overall, it tastes pretty good. Since this tastes a lot better, it is macro friendly, seven grams of protein, but it does have more sugar. I'll give this a three. All right guys, so for our next category, it is hot drinks. So there's other drinks besides this one that were less calories. So for instance, the steamed milk was 200 calories, but it's eight grams of fat because it is regular milk, or you can get the steamed apple juice, but that had 50 grams of sugar in it. So that's kind of why I didn't get it. So I went with this, it's the pistachio cream. So this is 330 calories, nine grams of fat, 48 carbs, but it has 13 grams of protein. But it also has 47 grams of sugar. So that's a lot of sugar. So I'm assuming because it has that much sugar, it's gonna taste a lot better than these other drinks, but we'll see. Have you ever guys had pistachio ice cream before? I think it's pretty good, but let's see if this holds up to the test. 
Oh, oh, that's good. If you're a pistachio lover, this is the thing to get. The only thing I don't like is it has a lot of sugar in it. 47 grams of sugar. That's a lot of sugar, guys. Macro wise, not the best. Tastes a lot better than these two. But again, I think it's because of the sugar content. So I'll give this a uh, three. Next drink, Frappuccino blended beverage. So for that guys, I got the Espresso Frappuccino blended beverage. This is only 210 calories, 2.5 grams of fat. So a lot less fat than these guys. 43 carbs, only three grams of protein, but also 42 grams of sugar. So these two have the same amount of sugar. This one has a lot less calories, a lot less fat, a lot less everything. So Frappuccinos is like one of my friend's favorite thing to get. He always get the um, mocha Frappuccino. I think that's what it's called. But those are like super high in sugar. Not like this is not, but the other ones are like even more. So out of all the Frappuccinos, I would recommend this one just because it is the least calories and it doesn't come with whipped cream. I feel like if you look at the menu, try to steer away from all the whipped cream Frappuccinos just because that does pack on extra calories. You know what I mean? So this is what it looks like. This tastes like the uh, the glass bottle Starbucks that you buy. You know what I'm talking about? I'll put an image up because I don't know what it's called, but this tastes really good. Only 210 calories, guys. Three grams of protein, 43 carb, but 42 grams of sugar. So same amount of sugar as this one, but a lot less calories than the rest. And it tastes pretty good. I'll give this one, guys, a 3.5. Actually, I'm going to get another sip. It's that good. All right, so for the next category, it's cold coffees. So we start from the hot and we're going all the way down to the colds. So this one right here is the nitro cold brew. So I heard great things about this. I'm not sure what nitro means, but it's only five calories, zero fat, zero carb, zero protein. So I think it's just iced coffee, right? Nitro, I don't know what that means. They added more foam or something. This is what it looks like. Let's give it a taste, guys. Oh, <coughs> it's so better. Are you supposed to add sugar to this? I mean, it's only five calories, so I would assume you shouldn't, but... Oh, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Nitro or not. Again, guys, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I'm not used to this stuff. Oh, my God. Calorie, ma macro-wise, five calories, five calories each. Uh, so if you're tracking calories, this is perfect. But taste-wise... I, I don't know, I don't know. Not, not my thing. I'm pretty sure somebody else out there is like laughing at me, but uh, yeah, not, not for me guys. So for our next category is iced teas. And this is my personal go-to that I usually get when I go to Starbucks, even though, like I said, I barely go. But if I were to go, I would get this one. It's the Ice Passion Tango Tea. But the one I usually get is called the Passion Tea Lemonade. So this is not the lemonade. The lemonade does have more sugar, so it does taste obviously a lot better but I decided to go with this one just because it is 45 calories each, only 11 carbs and 11 grams of sugar, where I think the lemonade was like 20 grams of sugars and 90 calories. So it was like double. My personal opinion, guys, I would probably get the lemonade. But for this video, I'm trying to show you guys healthy alternatives. So I went with just the tea. So here it is, guys. It looks good. I love the color. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Refreshing. This is perfect for like, a hot summer's day or when I usually get it, it's like when I'm headed to the beach, you know, we'll stop by Starbucks, grab a drink. I would get this. I just think of me driving on the coast, ready to hit the beach. And it's just so refreshing, laying on the sand, drinking this. Yeah, I really like this a lot. Again, 45 calories, only 11 carbs, 11 sugar. And, and for the regular size, not this size, I would give this a four out of five. All right, guys, last but not least in our categories, it's the cold drinks. And this one, I got the Very Berry Hibiscus Starbucks Refresher Beverage. Say that five times fast. So this one is only 70 calories, 17 carbs, one gram of protein, and one gram of sugar. But it's cool because it does have little berries in it. So I think that's pretty cool. It looks very aesthetically pleasing too. If you want to take like a photo with it for your Instagram. Okay, you guys see it? The uh, berries right here. I never had this before, but it looks pretty good. Oh, what? No way. Did I get the right one? I don't think I got the lemonade. So these two, they come in lemonade, which tastes a lot better. So this tastes amazing. It tastes oh, for only one gram of sugar? No. I'm gonna have to check my receipt, guys. 
Okay, I don't know if this is the lemonade or just the regular one, but if this is the regular one, this is, it tastes really good. I hope they gave me the right drink because this is bomb. This might be my go-to for moving on forward. So this guys, I'm gonna rate it because like I said, it tastes really good. Only one gram of sugar, only 70 calories. And this is for the grande cup, remember that. This is a 4.5. The winner, this one right here. Very, very hibiscus Starbucks refresher beverage is the winner. Stay tuned for part two where I do try the Starbucks' food and I hope you stick around for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Until next time, don't forget to bring the shreds and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.